All right, so I don't want to make this uh, any longer than two more parts. So uh, after this, we'll only have one more part to refine everything, including the face, and then we will be done. And I think for Blender, this looks pretty nice. Let's just bring this up here like so. Just make it a little more relaxed. Okay, so uh, bulging a little too much. Just go ahead and bring this over here like this. Bring this in towards right about there. Um, we might actually be okay. Yeah, this is what I remembered. His um, jaw it seems to end right here, and that doesn't look good. We need to, it to end right about here. So let's go ahead and let's put for this. Let's go down. And one more two. Yeah, because I really don't want to lose any of that detail that we just added. And his face is going to look a little different now, but uh, you know, that's what you have to do sometimes. So uh, yeah, okay. Don't need this extra bulge right there. We can actually just smooth that. So we'll just. and strengthen the smooth here. Go up a level. See, it kind of it looks too straight now, so let's go ahead and just... Uh, let's go ahead and bring this cheek some. Let's go and bring down his cheekbone because it's very, uh, it's very small at the moment. But I think we have a very nice character here. It didn't take too long. It's uh, definitely, uh, it was uh, definitely a lot faster than uh, poly modeling. We need to make this look good from the front view as well as the side view, and then the three quarters view as well. So I don't want him to. L <laughs> I can't get shake that feeling. He kind of looks like he has food in his mouth. Because I kind of want him to look like a little bit of an aged bodybuilder, just a little bit, and uh, it's kind of hard to get that with Blender right now. Because uh, usually, I would just sculpt this in ZBrush and it'd be a piece of cake. But, you know, you can't uh, beat free programs. And uh, I have to say that uh, Blender has really grown on me, and I will I'll definitely always remember Blender. Because so I plan to make my own animation studio. I'm going to go to uh, an art school, and I'm going to try and make my own animation studio, and I'll probably donate 5 to 10% of all my earnings to the Blender Foundation because it's just uh, so great and uh, you know they do it for free <laughs> which is awesome yeah. I even plan to make my own uh, website for blender tutorials kinda like Blen uh, blender cookie but uh, I don't know if it would be successful or not because you know blender cookie is already so awesome with Jonathan Williamson David Ward and uh, Kernan Dillon So, you know, I don't know if I can uh, do better than those guys. I might just want to, when I get better and I get a little bit of a portfolio, maybe uh, join Blender Cookie. You know, join the team over there. I just want to make it a little bit, look a little bit more serious. And, uh, uh, yeah. We're just refining here. Not much to really say. Let's go up another level. I really don't want to mess around with his lips too much because I got it just where I want it. Really, I, I, that's exactly how I wanted it to look. And it, it might be hard to get that look back again. Let's go ahead and smooth out this here. It's a little too defined here. Let's go ahead and do one more thing. 
yeah, we have, we're doing good on time here. Let's go ahead and, go ahead and draw. Uh, oops. Let's uh, scale this right about there, and let's go ahead and uh, just define this part a little better. Let's, um, actually, no, we're good. I was going to say let's hide the, the eye, but it's not really necessary. Okay. Maybe add a little bit there. And for the fact that we're doing this with a mouse is great, too. Also, if you guys um, want me to, I'll uh, also maybe start making some GIMP tutorials because uh, I'm fairly good at Photoshop, and uh, they say that uh, GIMP is very similar to Photoshop. So maybe I'll give it a go. Just, just, uh, and not just like GIMP alone, but like um, integrating it to make textures for Blender. You know, I'm just gonna stick to Blender because you guys seem to like them. I I like them too. It's really fun to make. Yeah. Okay. So that's just too defined there. Just wanted the impression of that to be there. It looks way too serious all of a sudden. So I just wanted to be neutral. <laughs> looks kind of insane. I want to look relaxed. That's what I want. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get emotions down just the way you want them to. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so you see, there's a really fine line between sad, neutral, and angry when it comes to the eyes. Okay, that's about where I want it to be. That looks good. Got the brow there. Looks nice. Okay, so let's just continue refining. Maybe uh, fix up his ears a little better. Like I said, we're going to be modeling the ears when we retopologize, but, you know, I'm just. I need things to look a little better for the so I can visualize it. I'm very big on pre-visualizations. I always think about something before I do it. Otherwise, you're just uh, running around in circles. But sometimes I like to just pick up the mouse and just start things. Let's bring out his pecs a little more. shoulder muscles didn't turn out the way I wanted them to either, so we're going to have to fix that up a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to really worry too much about this. Too much. Just want to make it look good. So, and because I'm doing this the way I am, uh, with um, the separate tutorial series for each thing, I don't really have to worry about how many parts. Because um, usually I'm, I'm very stressed for time. But uh, since I'm doing it this way, I can just do it like this. I don't want to bore you guys or anything like that. And uh, sometimes this can be a little bit boring, but I just love the end result of these kinds of things. Like this, we started from a cube, and that's really cool. <laughs> I, yeah. Okay, let's just work a little bit. Let's uh, let's go ahead and work a little bit on uh, making this look just the way we want it to. And it's going to look a little bit different once we retopologize it and all. But that's okay. Alright, uh, that's good for this part. We uh, went ahead and uh, fixed some stuff up, made it look nice. Mm, we need to 
fix that there. Okay. So in the next part, we will finish and finalize everything. So we'll uh, add, maybe add a few wrinkles around his eyes, and we'll fix up a couple of these muscle groups. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.